I'm a writer primarily, um, but writing can be tough to to do full time. So I'm also an entrepreneur. I used to work in marketing, and right out of college, actually, I was working in marketing, and you know, it's supposed to be one of those things to be like a dream job. Um, but after six months in, I was just bored. I was, um, I was very much inspired by hip hop, so it was like maybe like spoken word that I didn't speak. <laughs> I just wrote. Um, so I started that, but then I found this opportunity online one day to write for this newspaper, this community newspaper out of Staten Island, New York, called Black Rain News. And um, basically, you could write about anything you want. So he allowed me, the publisher allowed me to write my first piece, which was a review of a Mary J. Blige album, No More Drama. And I didn't have any formal writing training, you know, even though professors and teachers in school told me that I was good at writing, I should consider minoring writing, minoring in writing. Writing was didn't seem to be something that could be a career. I didn't know any writers. Um, so I kind of brushed it off and went the sort of practical, pragmatic route of business. Um, so he had allowed me to give this opportunity. I'm right, I wrote this piece review of the Mary J. Blige album and I don't know it probably is if I were to read it now I'd probably cringe but um when I when it was printed and I saw my name in print I saw my byline and it was like by Felicia Pride it was sort of a wrap it, I knew that was what I wanted to do that I wanted to be able to be part of this larger conversation and I wanted to be able to um have people read me and so that was sort of the stepping stone I continue to write for that and then use those pieces to get bigger writing gigs and so that was about 11 years ago actually most recently I wrote a book called The Message and what happened was teachers started to use the book in the classroom and I didn't write it for that for those purposes but they started to see connections about being able to engage students with this book so what I did with the help of uh, my mother and other teacher friends was develop a curriculum based on the book and so that has also provided me another entry into classrooms and working with young people around um, using hip-hop as a tool of engagement how it's sort of just ingrained in our life and we may consciously or subconsciously realize it um, so the idea was I'm just one of those who uses lyrics and songs to explain my situation at the time. The message, 100 Life Lessons from Hip Hop's Greatest Songs, is um, a longer expansion on what a lot of people do, and that's use music as a way to explain life. You know, I'm, I'm an independent, so, and I've crafted a... A, a business and a lifestyle that allows me to work on projects that excite me. So um, I'm blessed to be in a position to be able to do whatever tickles my fancy, um, all dealing with words um, and media. So at the end of the day, everything's connected, but it allows me to, for example, develop education materials for a film. It allows me to develop a content campaign um, and uh, about HIV and AIDS. It allows me to um, develop a web portal for creatives. It allows me just to do just a range of things, which also puts me into contact and, and connects me with talented artists and con other content creators and entrepreneurs. And so I guess the most enjoyable part is just the fact that I'm able to do so many different things. I'd like to know, are you really ready for some super dynamite?